are his Spanish Heritage Month, it's going to be a staff interview. I have a couple of questions, more than a couple, all right, that I want to know about your background, about your Hispanic heritage, okay? So, we're going to start with you. What's your name and what's your role in the school? So, I am Miss Velez. I am now a fourth grade math and science teacher. Okay, and my name is Miss Gonzalez, and I am the ELA teacher in fourth grade. Right. Uh, where were you born? So I was born in Manhattan, New York. Yes. And you I was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico. Okay, okay. Uh, so what is your family's country of origin? So um, I have two. My mother's country of origin is um, DR, Dominican Republic. And my dad is from Mayagüe, Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, Puerto Rico. All right. Okay. How long have you lived in the United States for your family? All right. So, well, for me, I, I was born in the United States, so all my life. Um, for my parents, most of their lives, they lived in the United States. For a short while, my father did live in St. Croix, but did come back to the United States. So, for many, many years, we've, we've been there. All right. Vince Gonzalez, how long have you been? So, um, although I was born in Puerto Rico, I was raised here in Florida for about 25 years. And then I did move back to Puerto Rico 11 years ago, and then I moved back here. Oh, okay. All right. Um, have you always known English or Spanish, and how did you learn? So, I've always known English. Um, I do not speak Spanish myself, but I do understand it. So, at home, then it was a lot of my mom would speak to me in Spanish, and I will respond in English because I was able to comprehend it. And you miss Gonzalez? In our home, we always spoke both languages. English and Spanish. English and Spanish. Yes. I, are you fluent in both? You speak, you read, you write everything? Yes. Yes. I, I do. Okay. Perfect. Okay, so uh, Ms. Gonzalez, I have a question to you. What motivated you or your family to come to the United States? So, like I said before, we um, I have a brother and a sister, so we're a total of three siblings. And um, although we were born all in Puerto Rico, uh, what, motiv what motivated my parents to move to the States was the economy. So um, when we moved here, it was in the early, early 80s. And so the Latin community was not a big community. So uh, my dad is a registered nurse, so he um, moved here for a better opportunity. Gotcha. Okay, so what is a Hispanic tradition, okay, that you wish to pass down to you? Oh, uh, something that you learned from your parents that you would like your kids to know and to practice. Um, so something that I've noticed with any Hispanic family is the value of family, and that's something that I want to continue with my kids. That it doesn't matter how many cousins we have, it doesn't matter how many aunts or uncles, every kind of social gathering, we're all family. So that's definitely something I want to continue with on that value. It's only family. It cannot be family and friends, right? Family. Well, well, sometimes you have friends <laughs> that end up being family for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm Ms. Gonzalez. I agree with Ms. Velez. I think that us uh, Latinos and the Hispanics that we're mostly known for our warmth and our bond with our family and like you said also sometimes friends become family, so I think that that's what we're mostly known for. Yeah. Okay, so um, any of you guys can answer these questions. So what do you think are the contributions of Hispanics of the Hispanic campaign in the United States? Seasoning. <laughs> music like look at the pop stars now like everybody loves bad bunny j balvin then j-lo just went beyond just being the the a, a music artist and went to doing movies having clothing lines like a lot a lot a lot and so on that same note not only like the famous latinos that we have in social media but our essential workers like the farmers mm -hmm. The people who bring the bread and butter to our home, you know, the people who put the, the food on the table. When we were going through all of this COVID situation, they kept talking about the essential workers, but they weren't talking about 
the actual Latinos that were working the farms to bring those that food to the table. That so never stopped. That they never stopped. During the whole pandemic, this whole time, just working 100%. And yes. And then, oh, yeah. Okay, so um, our last question would be like, what is a phrase or saying or an expression that reminds you of your country or your country of origin? I would have to say the first thing I think of is is a huepa. Yeah. <laughs> it, that anybody says it and everybody just starts to get live and starts to have fun. So that phrase right there. Yes. And that is not unique. It's unique to all Latinos. Like we all understand and we all react yeah. to it, right? And if that's not something that reminds you, um, Puerto Rico, we uh, a lot of us we identify the Puerto Ricans by saying Boricua. Yes.